happening tomorrow. Rain or shine, the Mardi Gras parade in downtown Huntsville is on. And News 19's Emily Mosner brings us details on what you need to know if you're planning to go and information on road closures. By 3.30 Saturday afternoon, Washington Street here in downtown Huntsville is sure to be packed. Now, this is what's known as a throw zone, so keep your eyes open. You never know what you're going to catch. I like to think that it's going to be raining beads and not just just rain coming from the sky. Event organizers for the Huntsville Mardi Gras Parade are gearing up for a fun but wet celebration Saturday afternoon. The parade runs through downtown Huntsville near the Courthouse Square with Green Street and Washington Street being the main viewing spots. Throw zone will be from Commerce Kitchen down to the Old Humphreys. So if you're interested in being in the throw zone, you'll need to be in that in that section. Then a more family friendly area will be on Green Street. If you're planning to attend, give yourself plenty of time to get to a viewing spot. Huntsville police say road closures along the route will go in place starting at 2 o'clock with roads expected to reopen around 7. It's free to sit and watch the parade, but proceeds from the entry fee for participants benefit the Blunt Hospitality House. Similar to Ronald McDonald House. It's housed a lot of families. We see a lot of moms and dads who have babies in the neonatal unit, a lot of patients who are going through cancer treatment such as radiation, any kind of outpatient treatment, they can stay with us. It's, the only qualification is that they're from out of town. Executive Director of the Blunt Hospitality House says they love putting on the parade each year for the community and hope to continue expanding it next year. We're looking forward to really making North Alabama a stop for People that want a little taste of Mardi Gras don't have to go all the way to South Alabama or to New Orleans to do so. Now the event is rain or shine and based on the Weather Authority forecast, it's probably a pretty good idea to bring a rain jacket with you. In Huntsville, Emily Mosner, News 19. Again, the parade officially starts at 3.30 and we'll put a link to the parade map on WHNT.com.